بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رحبی شرحلی صدری و یسرلی امری وحل العقدتوم اللسانی یفقہ قولی رحبی زدنی علما السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ دیو سٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو ویل بی فائن بی دی گریس آف اللہ المائیٹی اور یو ویل بی ٹیکنگ کیر آف یور سیلف آئی ایم اسم الرحمن اور پریزنٹنگ یو دی لیکچر آف انگلیش گرامر ٹوکٹر سکس اور سیون Today the date is 25th April 2020 and today is Saturday. Today our topic is present continuous tense. First of all, introduction. Present continuous tense is also known as present progressive tense. It is a verb tense which is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now, either at the moment of speech or now in a larger sense. And the objectives are, you will be able to know when to use present continuous tense. You will be able to form simple negative and interrogative sentences. You will be able to develop listening plus speaking skills. This is the structure of present continuous tense. Subject plus helping verb plus fourth form of verb plus object. Helping verb is RM. We use helping verb is when the subject is singular like he, she, it, etc. And when our subject is plural like we, they, you, etc. We use are and am used when the subject is I. Uh, students, do you know when we use present continuous tense? You can see on your screens the conditions when we use present continuous tense. Number one. When actions that are happening now, like she is cooking in the kitchen, this is an action which is happening right now. Number two, actions that are temporary, like they are staying in London for few days. This is an action of stay which is temporary. So we use present continuous tense here. Number three, definite future plans, like I am going hiking tomorrow. This is the plan of tomorrow but the verb shows an ongoing action so we use present continuous tense here and in an urdu sentences um, raha hai rahi hai rahi hai come at the end like am a school ja raha hai wo gaane ga rahe hain main chai pee raha hu these are the examples of urdu sentences In negative sentences, not comes after helping verb. Example, Ahmed is not going to school. Here is, uh, is a helping verb and not comes after helping verb. In an interrogative sentences, helping verb comes before subject. Like, are you sleeping? Is he going to market? Am I drinking juice? Here I have some other examples for you. ہم کل لاہور جا رہے ہیں وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لاہور ٹو مارو وی آر ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو لاہور ٹو مارو دس از نیگیٹو سینٹینس اینڈ دین وین وی چینج دس ان ٹو انٹراگیٹو دین آر وی گوئنگ ٹو لاہور ٹو مارو اینڈ وی مسٹ پوٹ کوشچن مارک ایٹ دی اینڈ آف این انٹراگیٹو سینٹینس بچہ رو رہا ہے دا بیبی از کرائنگ کنکلوژن Present continuous tense is used to describe an action that is in progress, a temporary event or actions that have been planned. Task, uh, make 10 sentences of present continuous tense and then change into negative and interrogative sentences. Okay students, this is your worksheet and you have to fill it. You put uh, helping verbs in a blanks. Okay. Uh, your diary is make 10 sentences of present continuous tense then change these simple sentences into negative and interrogative sentences and uh, an essay my best teacher plus application and urgent piece of work for learning plus home assignment and home assignment on registers um, you can see on your sc screens this is your accurate pattern of application and uh, you have to follow it Okay, students, I hope you understand this lecture and practice it also. I wind up my lecture with dua. 
سبحان کا اشد اللہ انتا استق فرو کا اتوب الائکا تھینک یو سو مچ ٹیک کیئر آف یور سرف گاڈ بلس یو فی امان اللہ